Hello Virgo and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your dark moon and new moon in Libra. Now we have the dark moon when the moon moves into the sign of Libra on Tuesday, October 5th at 8.41 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please adjust to your time zone. And we don't have the new moon until the moon conjuncts with the Libra sun. And that'll occur on Wednesday, October 6th at 7.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So some of you may be able to see the new moon setting in the west. And what we're looking at are messages from your shadow guides and how they're helping you to release the entanglements of karma trauma or reclaiming your transformed soul energy, which could be in the form of soul retrieval. And this can be bringing fragments of your soul from past lives or through the timelines until the present time. And you are transforming this energy, preparing you for the new moon energy. So with the dark moon or the crone moon, we have I let go, I release, I am within perfect possibility. You are emptying yourself so that new energy can be poured into you. You are also releasing negative energies, things that no longer serve you, and uh, moving into new moon energy. And with the new moon in Libra, we have a new romantic cycle begins. Now Libra rules the seventh house of relationships, partnerships. Libra wants things to be fair, balanced, and just, and equal. And Virgo, you are about the body, healing the body, how to be of service, and knowing that you have to be in your best condition in order to provide the best service. So this is a general reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or rising, and this new romantic cycle is going to mean different things to each of you as this is a general tarot reading. So go with the messages that resonate with you and feel like they offer you some kind of guidance and leave that which doesn't resonate with you because those messages are for someone else. And so for those Virgos who are in a relationship and you're perfectly happy with that, this could be you bringing in a romantic spark back into your relationship. This could be in the form of a romantic dinner or a romantic walk or a romantic getaway for the weekend, whatever is meaningful for you. And for those Virgos who are on the dating scene, this could be someone that you've been seeing and you're moving it into a more romantic cycle. This could also be someone who was a friend and now you're beginning a romantic relationship. And then for the new moon energy, we have I accept renewal and delight in fresh starts. So let me also cover the Virgos who are single and perfectly happy being in their own independence. This could be a retreat where you're detoxing yourself, you know, in a healthy way. This could also be pampering yourself, having a spa day, or doing a ritualistic bath and using bath salts to help detox and cleanse your body so that you can accept the new energy that's been cleansed and purified and just cleared 
out so that you can be a better version of you or the best you that you can be. So let's see how your shadow guides are helping you, what messages they're bringing in for you, Virgo. And we have the matriarch, mother of homestead. And in many ways, this is a very fitting card for you, Virgo. This is reflect or rejection, opportunities, and consequences. Okay, because Virgo rules the body. You know, this is the homestead of the soul, of the spirit. And this is also about you choosing what opportunities are right for you. Because every opportunity has a consequence if you accept it or here reject it. Now, there may be aspects of yourself that you've been rejecting or you may feel like that you've been rejected by the world, other people, your family, your friends. You're just in this state of rejection or this could be you rejecting this or that because it's not right for you. Nothing seems to be right at this time. But you are being given these opportunities. So let's look at the soul cards. Now these cards don't come with a interpretation. So they are completely open for your interpretation. And Virgo, you may see things in the cards that I do not. And those are perfectly valid messages for you. Because that is the card speaking to you directly. Okay, let's see what we have for you, Virgo. Let's turn it like this. Okay, this, I feel, you know, this could be a form of rejecting an aspect of yourself or others. Rejecting you, you know, because there's this split and it looks like it's supposed to be of one face, but this can also be um, two with one mind. So this could be part of that new romantic cycle. You find someone that is of one mind with you and you are sharing this light and bringing light to each other. The hands upward can be forms of protection or moving away rejecting, pushing things that aren't for you away from you. And again, Virgo, there may be messages in this card that you see. And even here, I see almost like a bird face. Here's the eye, and here's the beak like it's looking at you. Here's another eye. These can also be healing hands. So maybe part of your pampering is to receive some energy work, some Reiki. So let's look at the Soul Journey cards to see what messages your shadows, how, you know, to get a little more focus on how your shadow guides are helping you. What it is that they want you to focus in on? For your soul journey. And we have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Here we have the matriarch opportunities, but also the rejection. You might be rejecting 
that you failed at something. Keep in mind that success is built upon many failures because in those failures, there is an opportunity to learn and evolve, to bring light into this darkness. And this could be a collaboration of ideas. You know, perhaps you're working with a group, perhaps you are working on your own and you're learning something as you go along and you're going to fail at certain things. But then you see where your weakness is and it's an opportunity to make that stronger. So here with this rejection, even though we're rejecting the mistakes we made, it's like, oh, that didn't work. Let me push that off the drawing table. But you understand something about that as you're releasing and letting that go and allowing it to be renewed. And you have this beautiful, fresh start of learning something and moving beyond the mistake and the failure. And Virgo, I know you are a perfectionist and you want things to be just right because I'm a Virgo rising and I have some planets in Virgo as well. And so, you know, I'm a list maker and I know Virgos are, you know, list makers. They create these tasks to create a project, to break down a project, a to-do list, you know. Virgos are very much about, you know, completing tasks. So let's look at the tarot and go deeper into these messages that your shadow guides are bringing to you. And we start with the Sovereign of Coins. Okay, this is the same as the Queen of Pentacles. This has to do with money. Perhaps um, there is something having to do with your career or business and you failed at it. You failed at something. And it just brought to light a realization about yourself, about your abilities. Um, this could be also your idea of being rejected and it makes you feel bad but because you know it's a good idea this could be encouragement to go out on your own perhaps where you're working at isn't right for your soul growth so you're going to you know it it's not something that you enjoy doing it's not work that you're proud of and you really want to have your own financial stability and your own creative energy and here we have the seven of wands where you're feeling like you have to stand your ground you have to fight for what you believe in because you know, everybody wants to bring you down or reject you or ostracize you or point out your failure to try to make you feel bad because they want to make themselves feel better. Here we have the two of wands. You're going to take your two wands and you're going to go off on your own and expand on your own ideas and see what the world has to offer you. You are looking at what the world has to offer you and how you fit into your world because you are you have something to offer the world virgo is of service to humankind and quite often they are in the healthcare profession and perhaps you are exhausted you know with that 7 of wands and then here we come into the Eight of Coins. This is something that you're very good at, your practice at. Um, this is also, you have many projects on the table. 
and you might shift your energies from one project to another and kind of going on a rotation and but they all kind of come together or maybe you have to scrap some of your projects because they didn't turn out they didn't work out but you learn from them and so but you are also in high demand and this can also mean monotony you are tired of doing the same thing over and over and over and not getting anywhere and here we have the six of swords this is you leaving troubled waters and going into calmer more peaceful waters where you can heal yourself this can also be a proposal of love as well because we do have that new romance cycle beginning this could also be you starting a new routine where i'm going to take better care of myself perhaps you're going to have somebody an exercise buddy or a meditation or yoga buddy that you know you can do these things with even if it's just going out for walks together and then we have the nine of wands this is the wounded warrior so you may want to check to see where your chiron is located at in your natal chart because you have your fence up you have your boundaries up here we have the hands up don't come closer i'm i'm deep in meditation do not disturb me you are protecting your sacred space so that you can get in tune with yourself and the nine of wands has gone through the hard knocks of life and i think that's very reflective of this matriarch with the rejection and having to deal with the consequences of your failures you know and uh however that fits for you because failure is going to mean different things to each of you but ultimately you should see it as an opportunity to learn whether it's something about yourself, something about other people, or some kind of knowledge. Look at that 10 of coins for you right here. This is wealth. This is financial bliss. This can be inheritance that you're going to inherit. This can also be your ancestral inheritance through DNA and particularly through the mother side, the matriarch. What did you inherit from your mother's side? What is your mother's heritage? What is your heritage if you happen to be a mother what is that lineage for you? And here we have the Sovereign of Swords. This is the same as the Queen of Swords. And this has to do with separation and loss. Accepting the consequences of loss when something doesn't work out for you. But also... The reclaiming of your power in the Queen of Swords. Here we have this butterfly of transformation. This is you reclaiming your power through transformation. And I can see that in that card as well. And accepting the renewal in your fresh start. And then we have the Nine of Swords. You are working through some deep soul matters. You, you, and I wouldn't be surprised with this card if you haven't been doing some shadow work. This is going deep within your soul and reclaiming 
your soul fragments. This could be in the form of soul retrieval, past life regressions, you know, therapy of, you know, revisiting your childhood traumas if you've had those, and just releasing the entanglements of that karma and reclaiming your energy. Let's see how this experience activates you, Virgo. How is this going to activate you? I also feel like that some of you might feel splintered and not really sure which way to go. Look at that synergy. So yeah, this can also be a coming together of those fragmented parts within yourself. And here we have the frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of not so obvious, never seen before combinations and unions that result in new ways of functioning, working, thinking, relating, loving, and being. It reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar so that new yet exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality. That's number 41. So perhaps you are working on a project for some of you. You're working on a project with someone and you are of like minds. However, you are each bringing your own talents and skills to the table and they just come together in this new way. This is also that first principle of, of looking at how something functions and reinventing, not taking away the function, but reinventing the way that it works. Okay, let's see. Let's conclude your reading with a card from the heart and soul. And for you, Virgo, we have... Oh, look at this card just floated off the deck just for you. Look at this. This is beautiful artwork. You are a living work of art, a most sacred and eternal being, a multidimensional field of energy with no beginning or end. You are a floating island of consciousness. And I love how this card literally floated off the deck and you're swimming within a cosmic sea of love live the dream and dare to be extraordinary you virgo are going to take something old and renew it make something new out of it okay virgo i'm going to end your reading here i hope that it was helpful and beneficial for you in some way. Until next time, take care.